Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link a chart control with your uh, database and show it into your Visual Basic Windows form. So uh, let's get started. First of all, what you need to do is go to your toolbox and search for uh, the control called chart control. It will be in, let's see where it is. It will be in this data section here. So just drag and drop this chart control from here and place it into your form. And this is our dot uh, chart control. Okay. You can resize your chart control because it's a little bit bigger. Okay. So this is our chart control, right? Now in order to connect uh, the data base to this chart control what you can do is just select your chart from here and go to the properties of this chart and search for the property called data source by default this property is none so just click this combo box here and just select your employee data binding source because we have already uh, binded our database with our with this project you will be able to see your database name plus binding source here. Otherwise, if you don't see it here, you need to go to this add data, add project data source, and once again, you need to add the data source, right? So, from here, you can add the data source uh, as I have shown you in the first video of this series. So, just select this employee data source, uh, data binding source. Or whatever database name you have plus the binding source and just select it now this next step is to go further down and search for the property called series here okay so search for the property called series and this series in here you can add a new x and y axis to your uh, uh, chart so I will search for the data source here just go to data source and in here I can choose x value member and y value member so for example I want to show first name on the x value member as of on the x axis and I want to show the pay of the employee on the y axis okay so I will select this and when you go further down you will be able to or here in the chart section here you can select the type chart type whatever you want to select it has bar chart stakes chart line chart pie chart and yeah all kind of possible chart so i will leave it as default as column chart for now and i will click ok and now when i run the program I can see the name versus age chart and I can verify uh, this name versus age uh, chart also and because our name is name length is more or, or greater than this bar chart so it's uh, hiding some names for now so what we can do is uh, we can just go to our uh, property once again so just search for the property called chart area here and in the collection just click the small button once again and in here go to access and click this access collection once again and click the small button here and you will see x axis y axis secondary x axis and secondary y axis so our uh, names are on x axis right so select x axis and then search for the property called interval here so in the interval property by default it's auto interval is auto so what you need to do is just delete this auto from here and make it one so it will make your interval one and click ok and click ok and now when you run the program you will see all the names uh, in front of your uh, bars so julie paul local or whatever names are there 
they will be shown in front of these bars so you can uh, play the, with these properties in uh, this series and you can uh, just choose the type which you want to show and you can play with uh, the properties in this chart area and you can uh, just uh, customize your chart with these so i hope you have understood the basic concept and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now